Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are discussing how to find integrating factor for the non-exact differential equation. Okay, see friends, now method 3 we are discussing. In the previous videos, we discussed rule 1, rule 2 or method 1, method 2. Method 1 is an inspection method. Method 2 is a homogeneous differential equation. Now, method 3 to find an integrating factor for the given differential equation mdx plus ndy is equal to 0. The statement is here you observe friends. If the given differential equation is mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 is in the form of y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to 0. y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to 0. And mx minus ny not is equal to 0 then 1 by mx minus ny is an integrating factor of given differential equation. Actually, here you have to understand what is fxy. Okay, you see friends, for example, I am taking f of x. f of x is a polynomial like uh, x square plus 3x plus 2. So, it is a polynomial function of degree 2. It is in terms of x. So, you can say single valid function. Now, if I replace in place of x t, then this is a t square plus 3t plus 2. So, it is also a polynomial function in terms of a t of degree 2. Suppose if I written a single, these are single valid functions. f of x comma y if I written. f of x comma y means this is x square plus y square plus x plus y cube plus 3x. It is also a, a function in terms of x and y. Here you observe x square is there, y square is there, x is there, y cube is there, x is there. So, finally, how many variables we have? Two variables here we have. But what is mean by fxy? You see friends, fxy is x square y square plus x power 7 y power 7 minus 3xy plus 5. So, the difference between x comma y and xy is, here you observe friends, x square plus y square is there. But here you have x square y square means x y whole square the degree of x and y both should be same here also x power 7 y power 7 so x y whole to the power of 7 x y means x power x power 1 y power 1 means x y whole power 1 so you can say it is a function of x y but this is what function of x comma y i repeat again what is the method you observe friends if the given differential equation m dx plus n dy is in the form of y into f x y dx plus x into g x y dy is equal to 0 is non-exact is non-exact and mx plus mx minus n y is not equal to 0 then 1 by mx minus n y is an integrating factor for the given differential equation. Okay friends now I will explain why it is a rule 3 what we have a rule 1 rule 2 later I will solve a few problems and also I will give a task for you. First you observe friends, here the given problem mdx plus ndy is equal to 0. How to solve this problem up to uh, rule 3 you observe. First we have to find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, you can say which is an exact. In this case the general solution is integral of mdx plus integral of ndy is equal to 0 where y is a constant. Here in the second integral free from x term or independent of x or no x terms. Now, if dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x, you can say which is a non-exact differential equation. So, we have to make it as an exact. To get the general solution, we have to make it as an exact. For that, we have to multiply one factor. That factor is called integrating factor. So, to find the integrating factor, we have different methods. Moreover, integrating factor more than one also available may be infinite also okay some authors they will say infinite also we have anyhow so how to find the integrating factor rule one rule one we have an inspection method rule one we have a inspection method this one already we discussed in the previous video next rule two which is a homogeneous differential equation now rule three rule three means if it is non-exact and y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to zero is a rule three now we are in a rule three so, I am going to solve a few problems. Just I am finding integrating factor only. And I will give a task for you. Friends, here you observe. I gave few problems. First one is find integrating factor of x y square minus 3y dx plus 3x square y plus 7x dy equal to 0. So, 
find integrating factor for this. Similarly, this is the second problem. Same method, friends. Third problem. Please take a screenshot for you. So you need to solve these problems after completion of this video. Similar problem only I am giving. So watch this video completely to get the integrating factor in this method. Right. These problems they are asking in the gate exam also. Uh, sometimes uh, they will give find integrating factor or else sometimes they are asking which of the following is the solution for the given differential equation m dx plus n dy. Right. Now I will solve our two problems. You try to solve the remaining problems. Right. You see please take a screenshot. Now I am going to solve the problem. Okay friends given problem is find integrating factor of xy sin of xy plus cos of xy into y dx plus xy sin of xy minus cos of xy into x dy is equal to 0. This problem already I given in the previously anyhow. Now this is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Is it or not m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So m means dx equation. So y you multiply inside then you will have xy square sin of xy plus y into cos xy. If you multiply x inside, then you will have this is n. Okay. Now I have written m. I am verifying which is an exact or not. Now I am finding do m by do y. Here you observe friends, this is a function of y. This is also function of y. So I have to rule apply uv rule. First term into that is a x into uh, here you observe sin xy is a sin xy. Now this derivative is 2xy plus here xy square is xy square sin xy derivative cos xy into x because we are differentiating partially with respect to y. Inner derivative with respect to y is x. Next here y into cos xy derivative minus sin xy into inner derivative with respect to y is x plus cos xy into y derivative is with respect to y 1. So this is dou m by dou y right. Now n is if I multiplied uh, x inside then I will get x square y sin xy minus uh, x into cos xy. I have written same thing here. Now I have to find out dou n by dou x. What is the dou n by dou x here? Differentiate uh, uh, here you observe this is a function of uh, x and this is also function of x. So you will rule you have to apply. First term into sin derivative cos into inner derivative with respect to x means y plus here sin of x y into this derivative with respect to x is y is a constant x square derivative is 2x. Here minus is a minus uh, cos x y is a cos x y x derivative is 1. Next minus x is x cos x y derivative is minus sin x y. So minus of minus plus sin x y in a derivative with respect to x is y. So from this you observe friends is both are equal. You observe 2x y sin x y term is there here. 2x y sin x y term. Yes we have x y square uh, x, x square y square cos x y. x square y square cos x y we have. Next minus x y sin x y. Min, uh, plus x y sin x y you have. So here both are not equal. So we can say dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x. This is a non-exact differential equation. Now we have to make it as an exact. To get the uh, how we can get a exact differential equation means we have to multiply integrating factor. So how many methods we have? We have a rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, rule 4, rule 5. Anyhow, anyhow first rule 1 means inspection method. For the given problem we cannot apply inspection method by separating the terms dividing or multiplying adding we cannot get the inspection method now second one homogeneous is it a homogeneous means of course here it is okay but here you have a y so here you observe friends here a degree and uh, this degree and this degree both are different n you observe this is a k cube you have this is k only so which is a non-homogeneous so you cannot apply rule 2 also it you cannot apply inspection you cannot apply homogeneous and you can say the given differential equation is in this form you observe y into f x y x y term x y term x y term so y into f x y dx plus x into g x y dy is equal to 0 or not this is x y this is x y this is x y so you can say this is non-exact and uh, y into f x y dx plus x into g x y dy is equal to 0 so now we need to find out mx minus ny. If mx minus ny not equal to 0, then integrating factor is 1 by mx minus ny. So now I am doing mx minus ny. So friends, if I multiply xy, then I am getting this one. Okay. Why uh, here m into x, n into y is this one. Now minus of x square y square sin xy. Uh, this is x square y square getting cancelled. x square y square sin xy. So the remaining term what you have? xy cos xy minus of minus plus xy cos xy. So you can say 2 times of xy 
cos x y. So what is integ which is zero or non zero? Not equal zero. Therefore, integrating factor is one by two x y times half cos of x y. I think it is a clear for you. Right. Next, I will solve one more problem. Second problem: find integrating factor of x y square minus three y dx plus three x square y plus seven x dy is equal to zero. By the observation, we can say the given problem is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to zero, where m is dx quotient, n is dy quotient. I have written m here and also. Now we have to verify which is an exact or non-exact. For that, I am finding dou m by dou y. So here x y square, y square derivative is two y, two y into x, three y derivative is three. So negative is there. Now n with respect to x. So this three x square derivative is six x into y. Plus seven x derivative is seven. So by the observation, we can say which is non-exact. Whenever it is a non-exact, we have to verify uh, to find integrating factor. We have to go for first rule number one. That rule number one is inspection method. Friends, is it possible inspection method? You see, uh, can you separate the variables and uh, divide or multiplying? Uh, are you getting the inspection method means it is not possible. So go for rule two. What is the rule two? You have to verify the given differential equation is a homogeneous. Friends, you observe what is the degree of this first term in the first year x y square means degree three. What is the degree here one? So this is a, m is a non-homogeneous. So you cannot apply this method also. Now you observe, is it like in this form verify? Uh, can I take y is a common from this? Yes, you can take y common. If I take in y common, what will happen? Tell me, x y minus three dx. And from this, what can I take x is a common verify? So I am taking x is common. If I take in, then what I will get three x y. Plus seven into dy is equal to zero. Friends, you observe this is y into x y term. So y f x y dx plus x g x y dy is equal to zero form. Is it or not? X y term or not? This is also x y term. So you can apply rule three. In the rule three, we have to verify m x minus n y is zero or non zero. This is m friends. You multiply x, then what you are getting? M, uh, x square y square minus three uh, y x minus half. Mm. Now multiply x for this, uh, y for this. Then what you are getting? You see, if I multiply the y, then three x square y square plus seven x y. So what you are getting? X square minus three x square. This is minus two x square y square. Minus three y x plus seven x y means. No, oh, sorry. This is a minus seven. So minus ten. This is minus ten x y. So from this you can get common minus two x y is a common. Then you will have x y plus five, which is zero or non-zero, not equal to zero. Therefore, integrating factor is we have in this case rule three, one by m x minus n y. Therefore, my one by minus two x y times of x y plus five. Is it clear, friends? Right. So this is the integrating factor for the given problem. Similarly, you try to solve the remaining problems also. In the next video, we are going to discuss rule four. Right. Thank you for watching this video.